Hello everyone, in this video we are going to explore the class that got generated whenever we create entity data model. And the class is your organization model.designer.cs. Now I'll double click this file. Now there are two important things that you need to remember from this file. One is your namespace. You got a namespace called as organization model. Hope you might have remembered whenever we were creating entity data model. In the wizard we gave the name of the model as organization model. So this is the namespace that you need to add on the page where you want to access data with the help of entity data model. While coding on the page wherever you need to access the data with the help of entity data model you need to say using organization model that is you need to add this namespace on the page wherever you code this is one thing that you need to remember and the other thing is the context that we have the class that is organization entities you need to create the context object whenever you want to work with entity data model so this class is present in organization model namespace that's why we need to add this namespace and create the object of this class and let us see the entities that got created for each table so we should have two entities entities are nothing but the objects or the classes So I have got one entity that is department, tbl underscore department and the other entity that is tbl underscore employee. And this contains the properties. So department ID which is of type int, department name, HOD and gender it also contains an extra property that is nothing but your navigation property that means we saw that whenever there is a primary and foreign key relationship it was creating a property that is called as navigation property so from department table you can move to employee table with the help of navigation property called as tbl employee anyway we are going to see how to use all these things in our future videos so these are the entities that gets created now operations on these entities are available in this class so you have a class which is partial and you have partial methods and you have object set properties and the important thing is add two methods so add to tbl underscore department is the method to insert some record into the department table and add to tbl employee is the method which is used to insert some record into the employee table so anyway uh, we are going to see its implementation in our future videos now one important thing is organization entities this class is partial because there are many places where you need to edit this class that means before insertion before adding this to the database i want to perform some business operations or business validations i can go and write the code here itself but the problem is that whenever i refresh my organization model or if I add some new tables to this model or if I update the model if I perform anything on the model it is going to regenerate this file that means it will override all our code so in that scenarios what is that we can do we can have a separate class which is again a partial class and you can add your customized code there so that whenever you update entity data model your code should not get overridden so in our next video we will see the basic operations that is performing insert 
update delete and read operations from entity data model thank you very much